Hello gorgeous and welcome to my channel. My name is Amber and this channel is honestly the ultimate hub for bad bitches. We talk about self-love, self-care, relationships, mindset, sex, and all of the things. So if those are your things, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. On today's video, I want to talk about how to access your inner bad bitch. Now, before I get into it, I just want to say that being a bad bitch is different for everyone, but we all have our inner bad bitch inside of us already. Even if you feel like being a bad bitch is like a million miles away from where you are now, I just want you to know that it is an energy that you already have that you can tap into. It's just about letting her out and unleashing your inner bad girl and really doing whatever the fuck you want. So if you were like, wait, what the fuck is a bad bitch? Go ahead and watch my video where I talk about eight traits of a bad bitch that will give you a lot more insight about what the heck I'm talking about. But for this video, we're talking about how to access your inner bad bitch. You know what a bad bitch is, but how do you let her out? How do you let her run free and really be that person? So that's what we're talking about and let's just get right into it. Now, step one of accessing your inner bad bitch is first getting clear on who the fuck she is. What is a bad bitch to you? What kind of qualities does she have? How does she show up in her life, right? And being a bad bitch is different for everyone, so there's not one way to be a bad bitch. You don't have to be like Cardi B or the Kardashians or any influencer you see online because your inner bad bitch is very unique to who you are and your own signature essence. So I want you to start to think about like, how does my inner bad bitch, how does she want to show up in the world, right? Is she playful, flirtatious? Is she a badass? Is she a goal getter? Does she say whatever the fuck is on her mind, right? What are these qualities that really make you feel like, yes, that, that's a bad bitch. And also it's good to think about like, how does your inner bad bitch feel, right? How do you want to feel every day when you wake up? Do you want to feel sexy or confident or successful or grounded or calm? Like there's so many different ways of how you want to actually feel and go through the world. And it's really about creating this picture of who she is and how you can embody her. Something else to think about is like, what is your inner bad bitch's mindset like? How does she view the world or relationships, men, friendships, work, money? How does she view herself? I'm sure your inner bad bitch wouldn't talk badly about herself. She wouldn't look in the mirror and be like, oh my God, you are so ugly. Nobody wants you. No, no. And if you do, stop that shit, girl. That is not the way, okay? Your inner bad bitch embodies self-love. She loves herself. She knows she's not perfect, but she still loves herself anyway through it all. And also like, how does she show up in the world, right? What Does she go after her goals? Is she patient? Does she speak her mind? Is she fearless? Is she adventurous? right? Like what are some other qualities of who this person is? And also how does she dress? How does she express herself into the world? I actually have a whole other video about how to dress like your inner bad bitch. So I will link that somewhere above, but that is a big key because the way we dress has such a huge effect on our mood right? If you're wearing sweatpants and a baggy t-shirt and your hair is a mess, I can almost guarantee that you are not going to feel like a bad bitch. So take care of yourself. You don't have to do your makeup and your hair does need to be curled and perfect every day, but what are some simple things that help you to really feel sexy and really feel confident and feel like a bad bitch? And these things are all very important. 
Now I love visualization and I ha actually have a playlist that I made that really has songs that just tap me into the energy of like being a bad bitch. I will probably put that in the description if you guys want to check out my playlist on Spotify. But what I did for so long is like I would put on my playlist, I would dress in lingerie or something that made me feel good and dance around the house and just visualize myself as being confident and fearless and going after my goals and being being in that dream relationship, living in my dream apartment, and really start to visualize all of these things. Visualization is so powerful, and I actually also have a guided visualization on visualizing your bad bitch life. So another resource for you to check out, um, and, and that's going to really help you to connect with the energy of who your inner bad bitch is. And when you visualize, you can also do it during a meditation, you can do it sitting down while you're walking on the park or at the beach, whatever way works for you is fine, but really starting to think about it on a daily basis, like what would my inner bad bitch do right now? Would she text back her ex that has hurt her a million times? Probably not. So I'm going to block his number and I'm not going to do it. Please don't do it. Or... Or even asking yourself, oh, it's 6 a.m. I really don't want to wake up right now. What would my inner bad bitch do? Fuck. She would get up, she would make herself a smoothie, and she would go to the fucking gym. So that's just something that I use that kind of helps me like tap into her every day. Um, I also like created a bad bitch alter ego. So it's like my bad bitch alter ego is Amber the baddie. So I'm like, what would Amber the baddie do? When I have a decision where it's like, okay, either I can do the same thing that I've been doing that I know probably isn't serving me or if I can make a choice that's better and that's aligned with my higher vision. And the key here is to really show up as your inner bad bitch when no one is watching. It's not about how other people perceive us, but it is about who we are and how we're showing up for ourselves. right? Yes, when you're at home by yourself, it's easy to default to all your bad habits and start having a negative mindset and not take care of yourself, but it's how you show up when no one is watching that is really going to help you to show up as her when you are out in the world, when you're on a new date, when you're at a job app, when you're at a job interview and in all other areas of your life, it all starts within and it all starts with how you treat yourself. So really start trying to connect with her on a daily basis. Maybe you can look in the mirror and listen to some bad bitch affirmations. I also have those on my channel. So y'all, I swear I got you. I have so many resources that I really hope you tap into, but like listen to your bad bitch affirmations while you're doing your makeup every day. And I promise you, you are going to feel so fucking good every single day. And there's so many things that you can do. And something else that I will say is it is so important to surround yourself with the right people. The people you have in your life make all the difference. They really do. And if you're hanging around a lot of low vibration people who are always having drama or gossiping or talking shit about other people, or if they're not really working towards anything better in their life and you know that you are, maybe it's time to find a new circle, find new friends, hang out with new people. And it can even be people in the online space, right? How can you join communities where you are surrounded by people who are on the same wavelength as you, I guess. So tapping into your inner bad bitch is really a daily practice and that shit starts today. I don't want you to just listen to the information, but you need to take action. You need to make those changes. Show up as this new version of yourself, right? What actions can you take? How can you start to reframe your mindset? What can you start to do differently? And I just want you to know that so much can happen in just a short few weeks or months if you really take yourself seriously and go all in. I want you to have this all in energy. You are all in for yourself, all in for your goals, and really just showing the fuck up for yourself.
Now, if you feel like, oh my God, I want to, but I'm like overwhelmed, I don't know what to do, I'm fucking stressing out, don't worry, I also have got you. I have a six month one-on-one coaching program called All Glowed Up, which is all about helping you to really glow up in every single area of your life, from your confidence, your self-esteem, the way that you talk to people, the way you dress and express yourself, and all of it p- plays a very important role in helping you to truly embody your inner bad bitch. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and and book a free discovery call. I will also have that in the description and see how we can work together. See how I can really support you on your journey because trust me, your life is going to just change so much on such a beautiful and amazing level by showing up for yourself and by embodying your inner bad bitch. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you. And I really encourage you to dive into the other videos that I have on my channel. I have got so much from meditations, visualizations, dance classes, affirmations, interviews with other experts coming up as well. So binge my content, dive into it, and really just start to make those positive changes in your life because I can just feel that you have so much potential. You have so much that you can do with your life. All of your dreams are possible for you, but you just have to believe in yourself. You just have to take action and you just have to have faith. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was, what you learned from this. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and I will see you in the next one.